nice of you to join us, Counselor. I apologize, Your Honor. We're here in the matter of the Commonwealth versus Todd Manning. Is the District Attorney's Office ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. We intend to provide sufficient evidence to bind Mr. Manning over to trial on charges of assault, attempted murder, and pursuant to Criminal Code Section 2604, the murder of an unborn child. Very well. Your Honor, may I be heard? Yes, you may. Thank you. This morning, I filed a motion to quash this indictment. I'm asking that all charges against my client be dropped today. Natalie, come on. I want all the details about how you and John finally got back together. Yeah, you don't want to hear that. Uh, Natalie, it's, it's me. I'm back. Exactly. Exactly, and that, that's what's most important. Do you not want to talk to me? Is that it? Because I know I've been a total brat to you these past few months, and I am so sorry. Don't. Please, don't tell me that I've trashed our relationship. I am so sorry. I know I said some horrible things, and I accused you of stealing my man. Someone tried to kill Mr. Ford? Yeah, right here. Pretty, pretty serious, pretty messy. What happened? Well, it looks like someone beat him with one of his own awards. This trophy thing here has got blood and hair on it. Any fingerprints? No, oh, not yet, but we will. Glad to hear it. What brings you by, Dorian? That's Mayor Lord to you and everybody else in this town. Oh, are you here in official capacity? Part of my job as mayor is to oversee the police department. Yeah, but, uh... I don't think you knew this was a crime scene when you walked through that door, so I'm assuming you're here because of Langston. I did something terrible last night. Sweetheart, nothing can be that bad. Now, what is this about? Ford. It's about Ford. Uh, is Ford going to make it? I don't know. He's going into emergency surgery. It's a miracle he's lived this long. Someone really wanted him dead. This is it. Do you think your parents lived here? Let's find out. Rex, wait! Oh, I, I don't think we can do this. I mean, we just got out of jail for breaking and entering. We can't risk... Okay, that works. Rex, look. They brought Ford in here. Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. Is he alive? Barely. They took him off to the operating rooms. What happened to him? Someone hit him over the head with one of his awards. I, I don't even know how long he was there bleeding. We found him this morning. It's a miracle he's still alive. That's what one of the nurses said. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Look, man... I'm sorry about what happened with Ford, but uh, he's alone. No family, so I had to be here. Sure. What are you doing here? So what about Ford? Did, did you sleep with him again? You warned me. And I promised you I would stay away. I've just been so stupid, but I mean, I meant it when I promised. I know you did. We all meant it. When we say it at the time, it's just sticking with it. That's the hard part. I'm so pathetic. Every time I would try to break up with him, he would come up with some line to make you believe that he cared about you. Or did, did he make you feel, like, childish and stupid for doubting him? How did you know? Oh, sweetie, I know the kind. They'll say anything, do anything to get you to come back for more. So, come on. What exactly happened last night? Did he break it off with you? It was much worse than that. My 
my daughter has nothing to do with this man. But Langston was involved with this guy. Nonsense. She lives with her boyfriend, Marco Rivera. Yeah, but she was cheating on him with this guy, Ford. How dare... <clears throat> How dare you slander my daughter that way? I do not want a word of what he has said to go anywhere outside of this room. Is that understood, gentlemen? I will take your names and your badge numbers before you leave here. Hey, fellas, um, do me a favor. Can you give us a minute, go grab a cup of coffee or something? Uh, no coffee. Please do stay close. Don't touch anything. So, now you're, uh, you're threatening the CSU techs? John, people just love to gossip. And obviously, you have been taken in by a scarless rumor. We all know about this Ford Langston relationship. And by the way you stormed in here, so do you. I've blown it. No, 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 not at all. Come on, Natalie, I acted like you had stolen Christian from me and then I accused you of trying to steal John from Marty. I treated you like dirt. But please, let me make it up to you. Jesse, you have nothing to apologize for. Oh, well, then talk to me. I have missed you too, okay? I want to know everything about last night. I want to know everything about you and John. It's just complicated. What? Oh, I'm a grown-up now. Remember, I can handle complicated. Just come on, start from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> Thank God you didn't take off to London. Uh, oh, Leah, no, I didn't, I didn't make it to London. And you didn't do anything else dumb, did you? Why would you say that? After seeing Johnny and Morty kissing, you were due for doing something real stupid. Rex, we were led to this place. Well, Otto did everything he could to keep us away from here. Yeah, because the answers are here. Well, it's hard to toss a place that's already coming apart. Okay, well, I'll take over from here. All right. I'll start in that. Cheech! What are those? Letters. Maybe you're right. Maybe the answer is here. Lily. They're all to Lily. That must be your mother's name. If it's my mother, they're all signed by Rick. Does that make him dad? My dream lover, my beautiful Lily. Yeah, I'd say that's your dad. I came west to make a quick buck. Instead, I found a reason for living. Beyond money, beyond anything in my wildest dreams. I found you, Angel. You. late for Arts Crawl. The galleries? Were you looking for something? Something beautiful. Unique. From here, but could still be mine. You're in the right place. I am. It's beautiful. Does that mean something? Constancy. A constant heart. Uh, wh uh, why is it broken? Not broken. The heart is complete. And the two pieces are together. You give one half to the person you're meant for. When you feel love that is unwavering. I'll take it. Good choice. have my heart unwavering wait for me all my love rick why wait for me where did he go did he come back 